Hi, we're going to talk about how to store vocabulary into your Words for Life app. Now, the first trick is to know where you're wanting to store it. So if I was wanting to store a food, I would hit eat. And if I wanted to make them go into one of these categories, if I was adding some snack, I would go to snacks and desserts. And then I would know where I want to put it. You have to see the spot where you want to put it. Actually be looking at that page before you then go on to the next step, which we're going to talk about here in a second. So names start with this name icon where it says mine you get a whole page and see I already have John in there John. so if I wanted to add another name in there if I wanted to add Bob in there uh, this is how you would do it you'd hit the name icon first mine. which whoops I hit it twice you hit the name icon and then you get to that page where you want to add the name then you go over here and you hit the one that says menu and then you hit the one that says edit page and now you can see all these different ones that say blank. And you remember, don't space them right together because you've got plenty of room to space apart to make it more checkerboarded because the farther apart the motor plan, the easier it is for the kid to learn. So I'm going to go a couple down. And I'm going to say create a new button. You can start with a button label and put in the word Bob. And what's nice is it puts in the message for you. And hit the word space. Now if you start with a button message, and you'll have to do the label second. Now you can listen to it. Bob. Yeah, sounds good. So the only other thing you have to do, now I just I minimize that screen by touching that arrow down. I shouldn't have done that so quick. There it is. See, I hit this button here to minimize that screen right here. And now I get to these other options that I have. But the main one I'm wanting is to select an image. Remember, you could import an image too, but I'm just going to select an image. I love this little magnifying glass which lets me go search. I don't like searching by the category. And I'm going to type in the word man. And I'm going to say search. Then I get my different options for man. I touch the one I like. Whoops, that was actually the one that was for John, so I'm going to go back in there and do it again. I'm going to say man again. And I'll pick this other man. All right, then I'll say save, and then I'll say done, Bob. and we've got the ability to now say, I like, go to names, Bob. Now let's talk about foods for one more thing. We're going to store something else in there. Let's say my favorite thing in the world is, oh, I don't know, maybe I like pizza. Now pizza is a, it, it, so if I go in here, I could hit, go ahead and go to Italian, and I could find the word pizza. Pizza. So it's already in there. You might not want to reprogram it. But if you did decide, hey, I want to just eat, all he eats is pizza, and I'd like to have eat and have pizza here, or if on an earlier level he'd stored it there, let's see how you would store it there and how you would delete pizza out from the, from the level that exists, the full level. So again, the first step is to see the spot where you want to program the word. So hit the apple one time. There's where I want to put it. I can see that spot. Then I hit the menu. Then I hit edit page, I touch the location, then I touch the one that says create a new button. I go to the label so I don't have to spell it twice, and I remember to add my space at the end, otherwise it'll, it'll run those words together. Alright, so you don't have to worry about pronouncing, now I'm going to minimize, I'm going to select my image, I'm going to go to my sort by spelling it. I find that much easier than trying to figure it out. You don't even have to actually spell the whole word. Just P-I-Z is enough. You'll find the one for pizza you like and you'll say save. Now here's the new thing. It jumps up and says duplicate word. This button has already been assigned to another button. You may continue saving this message or you can edit the button or see where it's used. I'm going to actually continue saving. I don't want to change it to, editing would change it to another word and show me where it's stored. It would just show me the other sequence where it exists. So I'm going to say continue saving. And then I'm going to say done. And you'll see now I have the ability to say pizza. Pizza. Either with two keystrokes instead of three or where it was at my earlier level. If that's where I had programmed it. So now I have one more step I have to do. I have to go in here to the Italian foods. Now this wouldn't be a, you know, you could say how critical this is, but I want to delete this one out. So I hit edit page, I touch it, delete this button. Say okay, say done, 
get back if you want to and see it. But now what you've done is when you hit eat, you have pizza here. Pizza. And when you go to your Italian foods, pizza no longer exists. So now you have it in there with just one motor plan. All right, now again, that's how you're going to do this throughout the whole device. If you wanted to add in some place, you know, if you hit the house and you want to add a, another place or something, you would just program it in one of these blank squares in the second row. You get to the page you want to change. It doesn't you know, again? It's every each each time you touch one, the second row is empty for you to program stuff in. You just want to keep it organized. All right, I hope that helps teaching you how to program words into the Words for Life app.